Hey guys, today we are going to be hunting another box of nickels. Now, I have not hunted a nickel box in forever. Um, I've only hunted two or three on the year, um, and that's mainly because of pretty much just circumstance. Banks have been having penny boxes, um, but they really haven't been having nickel boxes to give me. But, I went to a bank, and I finally got a nickel box. Um, now I did check, I did open it up, and this is the tall box. Um, I haven't hunted one of these in quite some time. Maybe only hunted one or two in the past. But, they are circulated, as you can see. And, this is pretty comical, guys. Um, I had a penny box that had a dime ender, but I've never had a, sh a sealed nickel roll with a penny on the end. Take a look at that. Um, so that's kind of crazy. Um, not, I mean, not the best ender, obviously. And then this one is also an ender. It is a 1940. It's hard to open, but for fun, I'll open those two up last, and we'll get right into the hunt. I'll slide these over, and hopefully we can find something good. I'll bring you in on my first find. I will put with my 2020, uh, well, my yearly set that I try to create, um, for the new coins. So, that's pretty awesome. I got three of those. Let's keep going. Alright, guys, this is awesome. Um, I miss this. Um, I have two finds here. Uh, 59 Denver. And a 56 Denver as well. But look at this, guys. I didn't even notice this. I was about to send this back to the bank. I was dumping this in my dump bin. And I noticed it had a mirror, like, a mirror quality. It's a proof. It's pretty beat up. But it's a 1976 S. Proof. I'll take that all day. That is awesome. First good find of the box. Let's keep going. Alright, I got another find. 1959, out of Denver. We got no 40s yet, but we'll keep going. Alright, I got another find. We got a 2009 Denver nickel. Alright, we'll keep going. I also did find a uh, Canadian nickel a little bit back, 2016. Alright, well it took until roll 26 to get our first 40s find. But we finally got one. We got a 1947 out of San Francisco. Alright, finally got something in the 40s. We'll keep going. Alright, I'm on roll 27 and I haven't looked at it, but that looks like silver to me. It is. We got silver. That is awesome. 1943, Philadelphia. That had a clear edge. Very clear edge. So that is silver on the board. Um, I'm just gonna dump out this roll and see if I see anything else. That one could be old. That one's just beat up. Yep, 52. 52 Philly. Alright, that's awesome. We got silver on the board. We'll keep going. Alright, I got four contenders that could be old. These two I'm not sure about. This one for sure is. This one I'm not sure about either. 66, 70, 61, this one has to be old, yep, 41, 1941 out of Denver, that is our oldest of the box, we'll keep going, alright, well we have another silver, um, I actually did not notice it by the edge, because I thought that it was just a, um, well, I mean, I, I did look at it, but, um, I didn't quite notice it by the edge, because it didn't have the best look, but it is. We got a 1944 out of Philly. Second silver of the box, and only the fourth in the 40s. Um, I'm quite surprised by that. Wow, this one looks nice. 63. Wow, I just saw that. That's nice. Um, yeah, weird box. Um, been really slow as far as 40s go, but we have two silvers on the board, so um, I'll take low amounts of 40s if we can get more silvers. Alright guys, we have 
a potentially really good find here. And I say potentially because I open this roll and I see this. We have a 1950. Now, either way, this is a semi heat eight. And just remember, usually you don't find them in this kind of condition, but the other 1950 nickel I found that was a D, I found one 1950 Denver nickel before, and it was in worse condition. Will this have a Denver mint? No. Just a Philadelphia, but that's still a semi key date coin. I'll take that. That is an awesome find. 1950 Philadelphia. You know, I'm just gonna, actually going to put it up here. Awesome, awesome, awesome find. We'll keep going. All right, we got another find. We got a 1947 out of Philly. All right, very next roll, we got another find. 1949 Philadelphia. And as I said, I said I would film the 50s, but I've been getting so many of them. Um, I did film that 1950 and a couple earlier in the video, but I've been finding so many of them. I've got like five 1957s, like two 58s, five 59s, like, um, I would film them all, but I've been finding so many that I just thought, you know, why film all those? So we have, it looks like in the box, we have six. Seven, seven rules left, not including the ender, so to, or the kind of ender, so nine rules left. All right, we got two finds and one rule, both in the 40s. Finally racking up the 40s. We got a 46 and a 41. 46 is out of Denver, 41 is out of Philly. All right, we don't have a 46 yet. I'm just going to move a few of these down. 49, 47, 41, and 46. All right. We'll keep going. All right, let's just go through these last two rolls real quick. Let's start with the penny. I probably could just shake it out of the roll if I tried. But let's we'll see if that penny has good luck. Well, there's a couple dark ones. They don't have the right patina, though. Penny. I don't think this is silver. Nope. 75. Let's check the rest of this real quick. You see a couple that potentially look old here. No, oh, that one's not old. That one's not old. Uh, maybe not. Nope. I don't see anything. Let's do this, what I think is a 1940. I'm uh, pretty certain. Again, I see some edges, but nothing crazy. Let's see. Yep, it is a 1940. Like that? I think it's an S. I'm pretty sure it's an S mint mark. But that is actually our oldest coin of the hunt. I don't think any of these edges are terribly interesting, but we'll check. This is one of those new buffaloes that scared me for a second. I thought it was a uh, an actual buffalo. The old? Nope. All right. That should be it for the box. Um. I'm going to get you guys a wrap-up. Alright, hopefully it's not too bright that you can see the coins. But this was a very good box, and it started very, very slow. Um, I didn't even get a single 40s find until over halfway through the box. Um, but man, it sure ended good. Um, starting from the bottom, I got a couple ones that were nice to keep. I have that one that I showed you guys that I found... Um, when I found that silver, 1963, in great shape. Um, I also got a pretty nice 68S right there. I don't think it's a proof. Um, and then I got 2009 Denver Nickel. 
We got this uh, 2016 Canadian nickel that I showed you briefly. Uh, this is probably one of the craziest toned nickels I've seen. It's so toned, it's green. It's all green. Even the edges like it. Crazy. I might keep it just because it's kind of cool. We got that penny. Um, as for 50s, um, that's excluding this one right there. We got a 52, a couple 54s. The top one's in really bad shape. No 55s. We got a couple 56s. Uh, there's like five or six 57s here. I don't know how many are there, but there's quite a few. Um, a couple from 58 and like four or five from 59. Um, as for the 40s, once again, excluding these two. Um, that Ender, that beat up 1940. We got two from 41, one from 46, two from 47, and one from 49. Um, and then I did pull, I did, uh, pull out a few stacks of 2023s. Um, and I'll keep a few of them and add them to my album. Um, so, you know, um... Hopefully I can uh, find the best one out of here, but I did not expect to have any 2023s in there considering it was a circulated box. Um, and then the best finds of the hunt, uh, we got that semi-key date, 1950 Philly, which I don't find too often, so that's a good find. Um, we got that proof, which I nearly missed. I don't think I found this date before, I can't remember though, but it's a 1976S. I might try to clean it off with my, um, or with a microfiber cloth and see if it looks any better. But there you go. Um, and then we got the two silvers. Um, that was probably one of the most surprising things considering how slow this box started. Um, yeah, two silvers. Um, the first one is, well, the first one that I found, but this is the first one that I'm showing. 1944, out of Philly. I don't find the 44s a ton, so that's a good find. Um, even besides that it's silver. So 44. And just in case you guys don't know, um, to t it's easy to tell how a nickel is silver. Is if you look on the back, and if the mint mark is right here, above the Monticello building, it uh, is 35% silver and worth about a buck fifty. Uh, but if it's Right there it is not silver, or if there's no mint mark on anywhere at all, it's uh, Philadelphia non-silver. So that's the 44, and then we have this one, which is a 43. It has some sort of, maybe an annealing problem. Um, it's weird, kind of that little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like a striation across the top of it. But yeah, 1943. Philadelphia. This was a great box. Um, any box where I can find silver, I'll take uh, for sure. Um, I don't think I've had, I don't think I've had a nickel box in a while where I haven't found at least one silver or a buffalo in it. Um, so this is gonna continue the streak. Um, I found silver in my last nickel hunt. I found two silvers in my last nickel hunt. So um, this is awesome. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, Hopefully, I'm going to try to get another nickel box soon, because I have, um, I uh, want to give a little announcement, because I ordered four boxes of pennies from my local walk-up bank, and they actually came in, so, um, plus I got another box of pennies that I got the same day I got this box of nickels, so, I got a lot more penny hunts coming up, and I've done a bunch already, so I'm going to try to get some more nickels, um, and, you know, see what I can do. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.